In example number five, we're subtracting rational expressions. We're going to subtract rational expressions. So we have 6 divided by x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 2 over x squared minus 4. Now, the first thing we want to do is, in order for us to subtract these rational expressions, is that we need to find the common denominator. In order to do that, we need to factor first. So the denominators need to be factored first for, before we are able to figure out what the least common denominator is. So over here, we need to factor the first denominator, which is x squared plus 4x plus 4. And we end up getting x plus 2 times x plus 2. So now we're going to rewrite this now as 6 over x plus 2 times x plus 2 minus 2 over, then we need to factor x squared minus 4, and that's the difference of squares. So that becomes x plus 2 times x minus 2, and now that's the new denominator. Now we need to find the LCD between the two denominators. Now they both have an x plus 2 in common, but there's two of them here, so we're going to include two of them. And then what they do not have in common is an x minus 2. So therefore, the LCD now is going to be x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. So what we're going to do is, in step 3, before we get to step 2, in step 3, we're going to rewrite the new denominator. And that new denominator is going to be the new LCD that we just created. So we have x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. Again, over here, x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. So now in step number 2, okay, we need to look at this denominator, x plus 2 and x plus 2. What's missing from this denominator to this denominator? Well, it's x minus 2. And that tells us what we need to multiply the numerator by. So since we have to multiply the denominator by x minus 2, then it means you have to multiply the numerator by x minus 2. So therefore, we get 6 times x minus 2. Over here... We notice that we have an x plus 2 and x minus 2, and what's missing in the new denominator is an x plus 2. So that tells us that we need to multiply the numerator by x plus 2. So therefore, we have 2 times x plus 2. Now, in step number 4, what we're going to do is we're going to combine it now into one denominator. So we have 6 times x minus 2 minus 2 times x plus 2. And then what we're going to do is we're now going to distribute the 6 to both of those terms and the minus 2 to both of those terms. So we have 6 times x, which is 6x, 6 times minus 2, which is minus 12, minus 2 times x is minus 2x, and minus 2 times plus 2 is minus 4. And now what we need to do is we need to combine like terms. So we get 6x minus 2x, which is 4x. We get minus 12 minus 4, which is minus 16, and then we're keeping that denominator. Now once we get to step 6, we then get one fraction, but we may need to simplify it. So in the numerator, we need to see if we can factor anything out. Well, we can factor out the 4, and what we have left is x minus 4. Now, there's nothing for us to simplify, but we're going to leave it in factored form. And therefore, step 7 is the final result.